Hello guys, this is Kudo and today in this video I will show you how you can make a drawer menu that will work with any device. So let's get into it. So first thing we want to do is to create a scene and right now um, I'm using um, the simulator so it's a packaging with um, Unity and that will allow you to switch between device. So I recommend it to you to to install it and and that will allow you to show what's happening when you switch device, maybe with an iPhone X, maybe with a Xiaomi, etc, etc. So right now what we want to do with this simulator, so we want to use as a portrait, because the draw menu will work as a portrait, and let's go back to the game. So right now we'll create a UI uh, panel, so UI panel, and the first thing we want to do is uh, to modify our canvas. So about the canvas, we need to change something. So you can use screen space overlay or screen space camera, it doesn't really matter. But make sure to not use word, scape, uh, word space. Uh, right now I'm using a screen space camera. So we need to change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size. Okay. And the reference resolution will be uh, 920 by 1080. All right, and we want to change something else. So about the matching, so right now we'll put at, at 0 0.5. So uh, when you put um, the, the matching to 0 0.5, you can see the size of our canvas changing. So the size of our canvas is 1080 by 920. So basically the resolution we put. So if you put on the width right now, so even if you change the resolution of your of your device right now let's test it so if we change maybe we switch on apple device right now as you can see only the width is changing and not the height and same as if i put the height uh, by one so if i change the resolution right now the height is not changing and the width is changing again i switch as you can see, only the width is changing, but we don't know, we don't want that. We just want to put 0 0.5. So right, I recommend it to you to always put the canvas as 0 0.5 because right now uh, it's better to have the reference resolution. Anyway, so let's head back to our game. And after create our canvas, what we need to do? We need to change the anchor of the panel. So right now the anchor of panel is very good because it's stretched on every uh, everything on the screen and so what we need to do right now is to create uh, an empty game object and make sure this empty game object will stretch on the panel like this so we can rename this game object so rename it, uh, rename it as draw so draw a parent and on this parent what we want to do so draw a parent and on this parent, what we want to change right is the pivot of this uh, game object. So let's put zero. And you will understand after why we do that. So let's save our scene. And now let's create our drawer menu. So what we need to do is to create again an empty game object. So let's create an empty. Or maybe, you know, let's create a UI uh, image like this. Let's trade this image. So again, hold uh, shift and option uh, with Mac window. I think it's control shift. Again, I'm not sure, but you can find it on Google. Uh, and uh, what we want to do is to stretch like this. So like this, because again, the, the drawer menu should be like this. Okay. So right now let's put a default value. Let's put 800. It's just to, to show, but don't worry, this uh, this game object, I will rename it right now. So let's call it draw a menu. The width of this game object will change every time we change the resolution. Don't worry, I will explain it everything just later. So we can change uh, the, um, the color, so maybe something like this. And let's create our draw menu. So we need to add, uh, so let's add a vertical layout. So ver 
vertical layout because we want some menu and some button here and on this vertical layout we need to change the child alignment to upper uh, center and we want to this vertical layout to control the child and control the scale okay so uh, next thing we want to do is to create a button so let's create a UI uh, text mesh pro button and as you can see something ugly is hap appearing on the screen but don't worry we will fix this just right now so uh, to avoid this situation what I'm, I like to do so you don't need to do that but I give you this hint so I like to create an empty game object so and let's call it this uh, space okay and uh, what I need to do with this space I will add uh, to this game object so I will add a layout element and in this layout element I will put a min height so maybe like 5 and a preferred um, and a preferred height so like this and I will put something like 15 okay and I will duplicate the space like this to um, to be able to uh, the button center okay so what we can change to is the width of the button so let's put maybe something like 600 and let's go on the text mesh pro and some featuring very nice is the auto size like this and maybe yeah maybe I can uh, well, yes, 72 is very nice, but you can add the max if you want, but let's uh, let's put 100, it would be nice. Okay, so again, um, when I had the two spaces, I can center my button even if I put um, the vertical layout to upper center. So next thing we want to do is just to duplicate this, so Control D or Command D, it's up to you if you use Windows or Mac, so D, 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 etc so uh, there is something wrong here so let's delete this space it's too much space space okay okay so make sure to have space button uh, space button space button space button space button and we uh, missed another space so right now we got to draw a menu with some button so I will not add an event on anything but it's just to show you how you can create easily a draw menu and after create this let's head back to our script so let's go on the folder script and let's create our script who will do everything so let's create a c sharp script and let's name it uh, draw a event and open it in visual studio okay so after opening visual studio you can remove uh, the update function because we don't need it and let's create some uh, variables. So let's serialize field. So let's serialize field. And let's create a rec transform. So rec uh, transform underscore uh, parent canvas rec uh, transform. Okay, so uh, uh, let's create another serialized field. So serialized field, and let's take another rec transform, uh, rec transform, and let's call this one the draw a rec transform, draw rec transform, and we need the last uh, variable. So we don't need to serialize it, but let's call it float uh, board border border start okay so before we heading back to the code let me explain how this thing will work so let's head back to unity and basically what we want to do is to do something like this so let's uh, take our transform tool and to do to be able to to do the the transform as a draw menu we need to just slide this like this and this slide need to come back but right now, what we we put uh, a width of 800 by default. But if we change the resolution, maybe if we take another simulator, for example, so let's put it on portrait, 
and maybe let's use uh, an iPad for example again uh, sorry uh, auto rotation okay right now as you can see the draw MU is 800 but we don't need to be at 800 we need maybe to be uh, bigger so like this uh, maybe like this because we we want to use uh, maybe uh, the the three quarter of of our of our screen or maybe even smaller but again if i change to to this uh, another another phone maybe i don't know maybe the nexus again sorry as you can see the draw menu is taking everything and the width should be something like maybe 800 and this is why uh, we will do something to to be adaptable from for every device thanks for watching so if content equal equal to like or user learn something equal to true user should thumb up plus subscribe else user should dislike but help me to improve. Thank you, and I'll catch you guys next time.